Hi everyone, my name is Zach and in this video I show you a quick way how to set up retopology in Blender so that you can start your retopology process. Retopology basically means you have a high resolution mesh as I have here. If I zoom in, you can see it pretty good. We have thousands of triangles here and this would be nearly impossible to create a proper UV map and for use this for texturing, rigging and animation. And because of that, we have to recreate the mesh with a nice topology, as we can see here. I don't say that this topology is perfect, but it's a million times better than the one we had before. So, and this is perfect for texturing, rigging and animation. And in this video, I show you a way how to set up everything so that you can start retopologizing. That means I won't show you the actual process of recreating a mesh and what to take care of. So just to make things clear. Okay, without many other words, let's just get started. I will show this pretty quick and just explaining the important parts. I add a new mesh, a new plane. And down here, I enable snapping, snap element face, and also I enable project individual elements of the surface of other objects. If I rotate this 90 degrees, and I now move the camera in the way that I have the character in the background, I can press G to move this, or also S for scaling or R for rotating. And you can see it will project this plane on this object. But you have to take care if, for example, the hand is in the front and I do it, it will be projected on the hand. So this is the first thing we do. Then I add some modifiers. I add the mirror modifier. So this plane gets mirrored on the other side. I enable clipping so it will stick to the mirror border. Then I add the subserve modifier to subdivide this thing. And here I set from cut mole clock to simple because I don't want that the surface will be rounded or smoothed. So we just have this square shape and no smoothing as you can see. But we still have the subdivisions. Now I add the shrink ramp modifier, which basically does a similar thing as a snapping. It projects the surface onto this high resolution mesh. As target, I choose this high resolution mesh. But the one difference here is that this shrink ramp modifier also uses the subdivisions from the subsurf modifier. And now we have to change some settings so that we can see the surface better. First thing we do is we set the offset to 0.002. That means the new generated mesh will hover slightly above the sculpting mesh. But right now it doesn't do it because we have to enable keep above surface. So and if I scale this a little bit down, you can see it pretty well. So now we have another problem. We can't see our vertices pretty good because they are under the new generated surface. And because of that, we simply have to click this button here and then we can see everything perfectly. So the last thing I do is to add a new material. You can call it Retopo. And for colorizing this, for the solid view, we can't change this thing here because this is only for rendering or for material view. We have to change the setting down here. Under viewport color, we can choose a color for the viewport. That means this won't be rendered. And also we can change the specularity down here. Or we simply disable this if you set the color to black. So let's choose a nicer color here, a little brighter. So. And now we have set up everything and now we can start. I now can simply press E and another way to extrude it, simply hold down control and left click on the surface and you can see it will create the new surface. So the only issue about this thing is, for example, if you are now working on the back, and if I disable the high resolution mesh for a second, we still 
have the mesh on the other side. And also if I enable the high resolution mesh, I can select the vertices of the front, for example. And this can cause some problems sometimes, but yeah, to avoid these problems, you simply add a clipping border with Alt-B to the back. And then you only see the things inside this clipping border and you can retopologize the back without any problems. And if you want to remove this border, simply press Alt-B again. Yeah, that's it with this video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned a few things. If so, tell your friends about it and especially share this video. If you want to stay up to date about my work, follow me on Facebook and Twitter. And if you want to support my work so that I can do more videos in the future, you can do it on Gumroad, the link you find in the video description. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Goodbye. Yeah.